brings us to our next point, heavyweight. We still don't know what the heck Gable's doing. <laughs> he had a big match last night, didn't he? Kozak went. I was there. No, he was up, didn't go. He was up in the Burbs. It was up I in did. the Burbs of Austin. It was in Cedar Park. Yeah, it was like 20, 25 minutes from where I... Uh, Are you for I, real? Yeah, I went. Me and... Um, so I met up with uh, one of our grappling guys, uh, Joe Gilpin, who's like really in to WWE. This is my first ever experience. Yeah. Uh, first event. And I was surprised. And there was way more families there than I expected. Um okay. Like a lot of young kids, I was sitting behind a bunch of like middle school girls, um, which is interesting. But uh, yeah, eye opening experience for me. But as far as it, <laughs> as far as it goes with Gable, um, it was weird. It was like interesting in that like at first he had a lot of he had a lot of a lot of cheers and stuff, and then halfway through, from what I'm told, Gilpin was telling me that he was using a lot of Kurt Angle's moves in the ring. And people yeah. started like chanting, you're not angle. And so it was a very, <laughs> uh, very, more chanting for his opponent. And then like the ending was was kind of weird in that I guess if if you're out of the the ring, if both guys are out of the ring for more than 10 seconds. But you didn't know that rule? Come on. I have never watched WWE in my life. Are you scared? This is like I'm, beginner. No, WWE. I'm dead serious. I'm dead You've serious. Never watch it in your whole life. You don't know that what a count out is? I've never seen it. I don't know what it, I didn't know it was called that <laughs> until he just said it. But, uh, so yeah, I mean, I was really confused and it seemed like people in the, uh, the arena were confused as well, but then they, they kind of like just made it like a fight. Like Gable's just fighting this guy, um, outside of the ring. And then they go back in the ring and they like threw all these refs in there to try to like calm him down. And then he starts throwing like the security guards and the help and stuff, which is, I thought was kind of funny. And then it just ended really abruptly, so uh, it was a it was a different it was it was a different match than any of the other ones. Like it didn't seem like people really knew what was going on. Um, but I so think uh, did I, uh, Gilpin give it positive reviews or negative reviews? It was like definitely mixed, and like this will give them some data on like what to do with Gable moving forward, I think they should just turn him into a heel. Like it's, it's like, it seems like he's kind of already like moving that direction with like the, the fan. Yeah. At least. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's like at least made his debut now. So I guess that means he's, he's in their, their show system and they want to develop him. but the world's worlds and Olympics and college, it's still on the table for sure. Yeah. Well, I would uh, I would also like to know what Gable is going to do, uh, and it's good that Gwiz look good because we only have what six weeks till Worlds, five weeks. So there were some reports that came out that Gable is done, and I think it's because it was a weird message. Well, he was like, "Oh, I'm going to announce what I'm doing at the last next event last weekend on Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever." And he kind of touted it as I can do this or this or this. And then he's just like, I'm doing next and you're my next opponent to the, to this guy. But he didn't say, but I'm not doing college wrestling or Olympic wrestling, which, and then we confirmed it is still potentially still on the table, but also could not be. So long story short, we still don't know anything. Yeah, we need some uh, we need some clear uh, clear guidance on Mr. Gable on, on what we should expect. Uh, but the Iowa rumors obviously cooled down. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Yes, it will. Um, That's right now, JD. Hmm. What's your guess? What What do you think is gonna happen? It seems like he's just gonna do WWE. Yeah, it's kind of what it feels like, huh? guessed a week ago or two weeks ago i thought he was going to do everything a week or two ago but it seems like if he was going to do everything he would have just said that on next mm-hmm. seems yeah. like he's trying to but working some things out yeah. you know with the wwe and whatnot i think he's gonna not do college or worlds this year and i think he's gonna still try to do the olympics next year mm. yeah. yeah that that's my me. that's my gut 
but I don't so know. would we if you if he bails on you and who knows maybe they've already told Guzdowski you're the guy right if you say he doesn't wrestle worlds this year um but say he has not which uh I feel like you if that was that was been told it would have gotten out at least to somebody um but if he bails on them a month early what would you think the be the procedure moving forward because you can't have the same guy make the team and then bail on you again a month early right yeah i don't know i feel like there's no precedent for this for people making the team and not accepting except well, what G- about greco last year didn't one of the guys just say like i'm out Hancock and it's the guy he wrestled in final x when yeah got it and then he did did he ever come back or he went to wwe he's still he's still wwe and he's I- nxt and yeah well, he's in nxt also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Him versus Gable. Let's go. Go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would not be happy if I was Mason Paris, just kind of getting strung along in all this. Because also, I mean, he's like, I guess he's not training anymore for folk style. He's done. Mm-hmm. So it's not quite as big a deal, but, and it's not like he has to worry about his weight, but I would still be like, yeah. You want to know championships or not? Yeah. Yes. For Olympics too, obviously, if he goes and brings a medal, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a big deal. Yes, for real. Yeah, I think Mason can medal. I don't know if he's <clears throat> if he's there yet, like against Taha or Zare um, or Petrus Feely, but I think he might be the next. <laughs> Next best guy there. I mean, he looked really good against Gable at Final X. Yes, yeah, you're right. Who did uh, um, Guzowski beat like number five or number six? Something yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. From Azerbaijan. Yep. And he beat he, up pretty good. It was like nine to two. So, Paris even- can be there. He, he could battle with those guys, especially give him one more year. I bet he'll be competitive. Absolutely. 